while it is told in the Quran that it is easy for God to bring man to life after death, the fingerprint of man is particularly emphasized. Yes, we are able to put together in perfect order the very tips of his fingers. The emphasis on fingerprints has a very special meaning. This is because everyone's fingerprint is unique to himself. Every person who is alive or who has ever lived in this world has a set of unique fingerprints. That is why fingerprints are accepted as a very important identity card exclusive to its owner and used for this purpose around the world. Hello guys, peace of Christ to all. As you see, we heard this video and the video, video supposedly talking about fingerprints. If you think about it, you know, in the beginning you say, okay, and you know what, he showed us a verse in the, in, the, in the video, and if the verse saying fingerprint, it's fingerprint. Now let us go and see what the video really saying and what he showed us, and then we will laugh together. This is the verse, as you see in the front of your eyes. I will play the video so you can see exactly what he said, you know, and remember it. Yes, we are able to put together in perfect order the very tips of his fingers. Okay, you see in here they highlight the verse they want and they make it and an, an able for you to read it, the one before and the one after, especially the one before. Now, did you ask yourself why? In here, he is saying clearly, we, yes, we are able to put finger uh, together in perfect order the very tips of his fingers. Now, is that about fingerprint? How we will know if it is not or it is? First, all of you, you speak English and you know what the uh, uh, tips of his finger, you know, mean. Because if it is, uh, the finger is not your thumb. Finger is the whole thing. Now you can go and search by yourself and you will see that the bones of the hands, fingers, not the whole hand, the fingers exactly, they are very small and they are very hard to put it together. Even if you are working in a museum. Now, all what the verse in the Quran is saying is the following. Do the man think we cannot put those bones together? The whole verse is talking about bones, not about fingerprint. As you see by yourself. Does man think that we cannot assemble his bones? He is talking about bones assembling, not his skin, because the fingerprint is your skin. It is not your bones. This is why in the video he did not show you the verse before, he showed you the verse after, trying to fool you, making you believe maybe, maybe, maybe he is talking there about fingerprints, but those are the tips of his fingers, the parts of his fingers, which they are those bones. But as always, Muslims they have to make a lie to make it look like a miracle, because if they have no miracles, they have to create one. How they can convince you that Islam is from God? Well, we have to lie. As long as Islam is satanic, why they cannot lie? You know, in the same time, you might be shocked, like why Muslims are lying? You know, if, uh, if, if they are people who they claim to be religious. You know, when you say you are religious, it means you fear your God, and, you, you know, you respect his, uh, his law. And supposedly, any religion in the world should not teach you to lie. Like, I do not, know much about the Hinduism I do not know much about the Buddhas but I don't think that I be, you know uh, I don't believe they teach you that you can lie I don't think so but in Islam you can do lie it's part of your religion so don't worry about it you can even swear in the name of Allah lying like if you go to Surah 3 verse 28 you know you can say something in your heart and something else in your tongue as long you are doing it for the sake of Allah, no problem. The Muslims, they call it taqiyya, which means a protection. The Muslims might say to you, we are allowed to lie in three cases only. Lying, 
to our wife and a wife lying to her husband this is the first case lying to your friends and lying to the enemy now what is left I wonder if you lie to your family and you lie to your friends and you lie to your enemy who is left so Islam is a religion of lie now I will show you another verse mentioning the fingertips not only this one the one we saw uh, uh, you know talking about fingertips there is another one this one here Surah 8 verse 12 it says clearly that remember the Lord inspired the angels with the message I am with you give you the uh, uh, ferments to the believers and I will install terror into the heart of the unbelievers submit ye above their necks and submit all their finger tips of them what does that mean cut their fingerprint or cut their fingers you see how we can expose the lies easy so in here this is the God of Islam because he is a God of peace and he is so loving He's saying if you see a Christian or a Jew or a Hindu or someone he is unbeliever and you capture him you know be very merciful with him first you cut his you know his fingers you know play with his body cut his fingers one by one and let him scream after you cut all his finger tips as you see in the front of your eyes I'm not making things up Surah 8 chapter 8 verse number 12 this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia their translation not mine after you cut all their finger you know uh, tips you know what then okay almost they are dead so you better chop their head very nice religion wonderful it's a uh, Islam is peace and Islam don't teach you to lie as usual right so we just showed everyone how we can expose the lies of Islam follow with me please Christ is our Lord Islam made by dummy for the dummy. I mean.